Hi everyone, I'm Molly McGee and I'm a digital initiatives intern in the curatorial department at the SCMA this summer. Welcome to the first episode of SCMA's Look and Listen, a three-part video series I created pairing student musicians and singers from across the five colleges with works in our permanent collection. In each episode, one student will perform a piece of their choice inspired by an artwork they selected with the help of an SCMA curator. In this episode, Natalie Lewis will perform two pieces from the opera Samson and Delilah. Natalie was inspired by a Marc Chagall print depicting a scene from this biblical story. Now, Daniel Carabino, curator of painting and sculpture, will give us a little more information on Chagall's print. Hi everyone, I'm Danielle Carabino, curator of painting and sculpture at the Smith College Museum of Art. And today I want to share a work from our collection that relates to a piece that um, uh, Natalie will be uh, performing uh, called Samson and Delilah from the Bible series from uh, 1956 by the Russian born artist Marc Chagall, who was active mostly in Paris and later in New York. Um, this is a print from a larger series, the, as I said, the Bible series, um, and we actually have four other Samson prints from this series in our collection, in addition to others. Um, but this is probably his best known um, print series uh, that he um, was very successful in after visiting um, the Holy Land. He interpreted the Bible um, partially kind of from his own personal um, point of view, and it uh, appears kind of dreamlike, um, and it has kind of personal resonance for him. Um, he focused mainly on stories such as the one seen here of triumph, weakness, um, treachery, lust, so a lot of emotion um, is packed into these single prints, as you can see. And the story here of Samson and Delilah is uh, from the Old Testament in which um, uh, Delilah is actually bribed by the Philistines, who we see here, peeking uh, out from behind the, the tent um, uh, because they wanted to uh, defeat Samson. He was uh, known for his great strength. And so Delilah, uh, after the third attempt, finds that his strength is in his hair. And so she asks her maidservant to um, cut his hair off. So what we see here is kind of the climax of the story in which Delilah has just um, taken the chunk of hair from Samson's head. And you see he's kind of patting his head, um, wondering where the source of his strength has just gone. And she raises the tuft of hair very triumphantly with that very muscular arm. Um, there's also a kind of um, very sensual uh, aspect to this scene where she has one breast exposed, he's um, partially uh, clothed as well. And so this is really a scene of seduction and um, as I said, treachery, um, whereby she's able to really emasculate and divest um, Samson of his strength. Um, so it's a, it's a very emotional story. It's a very emotional print. And as you'll see, it's a, it becomes a very emotional um, opera. Um, this story inspired many different works of art in different formats. But I should also just note that Chagall was also known for designing theatrical the uh, sets um, for opera and theater. And so he does have that sense of theatricality um, in his work. So this is kind of a nice um, counterpoint to the piece that uh, Natalie will be performing. Hi, my name is Natalie Lewis and I'm a senior at UMass Amherst. I'm very excited to be collaborating with the Smith College Museum of Art in combining visual art and music. The piece I've chosen is an etching by artist Marc Chagall titled Samson and Delilah from the Bible. And the music I've decided to combine it with is by French composer Camille Sanson from his opera, Sanson et Delilah. The first song is titled Amour, Viens aider ma faiblesse, Love, Come Help My Weakness. And the second is Mon Coeur S'ouvre à ta voix, My Heart Opens to Your Voice. In the first aria, Delilah is in her room alone, awaiting Samson to come, and she's asking Love to help her um, in winning over Samson and winning his love. And in the second aria, she is using the power of love to seduce Samson into falling in love with her so that he will eventually tell her the source of his strength, which is from his hair. Which leads us to the etching, 
where we see Delilah cutting off um, Samson's hair and thus removing his strength. Putting this together was a lot of fun and I really hope you all enjoy. Voici le 